Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So this is my Nintendo Switch. I had bought this Nintendo Switch when I was on work and travel in the United States in 2019. I bought it from a GameSpot and I've had it ever since and it's, it's done really good. It's still working pretty fine. The only problem I have with this Nintendo Switch is sometimes the Joy-Cons actually drift, that's normal, and sometimes they don't want to charge, or even if they do charge, they don't want to connect. So I decided that I wanted to get something else, so I've been using this third-party controller. This was a pretty cheap controller. I really like it. I Actually, I love it because it's what I've been using most of the time. It has some pretty cool features. It has buttons at the back. It has some pretty high-end vibration it's 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 really cool and it also has colors so you can cycle through the colors uh, let me turn it back on so you can cycle through different colors so if you have you know something that you want say a red theme orange yellow green i'm going to be using green because most of the colors are green this is a very good controller if you want to get this controller I'll also link it in the description of this video. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I got it for like $25. And it works on PCs, Android. It's it's solid. But the whole idea about the Nintendo Switch is that it it's dual purpose. One, you can use it on your computer or I mean on a TV. So it's big screen, 1080p or handheld, which is one of the best ways to actually use the Nintendo Switch. Again, my Joy-Cons have been giving issues, so I decided to make an upgrade. I didn't want to get any and any um, controller, but I saw one and I, I, I really fell in love with it. One thing about the Joy-Cons is they're very, very slim. I mean, the entire system is slim, but these things have no way to actually hold them properly. So if you're doing something like competitively, it's not gonna work out. So I wanted to get something that would give me, you know, good grip. So I decided to get something and I got myself, well, this is the package. I, I made an unboxing, but I'm not gonna show you that because nobody wants to see my unboxing. But this is the package that I ordered from a company recently and they sent me something pretty awesome. So let me open the box and show you guys. Yes, I got myself. A nitro deck the nitro deck the black edition I got the cheap one I didn't get the one that came with the case because I live in Jamaica and customs would tear me a new one they would they'd really um, they would charge me so much just to clear this if I took the more expensive one even though I had to pay a lot for this I had to pay half of the price for this um, to clear it so I paid sixty five dollars and I had to pay about $34 to actually clear it at custom. So in total, I spent about $100 on this Nitro deck. But yeah, let's go into the box. And I'm going to show you guys the Nitro deck. Ta-da! It's empty. <laughs> There's no way my Nitro deck would be in this box. Are you crazy? I've been using that thing since I got it. Oh my god, it's right here. So yeah, this is my Nitro deck. It's absolutely crazy. It's very light. That's the first thing I, I felt when I, I pulled it off, um, took it out of the box. It's very light, like super, super light, like super light. It feels big compared this size to this. You can see that there's a massive difference. However, even though it's big, it actually works. It feels so comfy, my hand grips it perfectly. And the buttons at the back, my hands are on them, like it's in the perfect, perfect position. Like, listen to these clicks, guys. I heard that these are um, mouse clicks. They're, they're really good, I like it. The analogs are one of the best features of it because they say they will never ever start drifting, which is absolutely crazy. That means I can have this thing forever. We have the camera feature, the button, we have the home button, we have the D-pad, we have the minus, we have the plus, we have the X, Y, B, yeah. We have a kickstand, this is one of the best kickstands ever. No joke, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome. The buttons at the back, we have two ports at the back. We have the output, this is if you want to 
um, play use this as a controller for your computer you put it in the output and we have the input which is the charging port you just click it in and it charges one thing that you need to know about the nitro deck is that it doesn't has have its own power supply unlike the switch joy cons which you know have their internal battery this doesn't have any internal battery it takes its power from the nintendo switch and that is why it doesn't um, allow wake up is that what it's called it cannot wake up the nintendo switch because if the switch is off then it has no power so simply get your nintendo switch oled or the normal one and you're gonna just slide it in nicely line it up slide it in and you hear that click and everything is secured you can see it automatically picks it up if you have any problems and it's not working for you just go to system settings go down to controller and you're going to make sure that pro controller wired connection is on if that is on it should work perfectly fine if you're inside of a game and it's not working simply press the the off key or the sleep key turn it off and then turn it back on and it will recognize the controller and you can now use it so before i said it was pretty light but after you know put it in my putting in my my switch it feels it feels premium guys this thing is awesome it looks like a a, a steam deck dude like it really looks like a steam deck i i am pretty stoked about it i would want to play some games but most of my games are currently downloading right now i don't know why my internet is sexually slow i can play some zelda or I could play some FIFA. I'm gonna play FIFA. That's a pretty quick um, overview of the Nitro deck. <sighs> this is this is premium, guys. I love, I love it. I love it. You can see that I'm pressing the back button, and it's actually making noise. It, you can program it. You can turn on turbo mode. So if you press the ZL and the minus, you can program a button to do whatever you want. So if I press it, I can program it. You're gonna see this start flashing the ohm. So I'm gonna press the two of them. You can see that I can now program my keys, like you know, one, two, three, A, 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 Y, B, A. It's pretty crazy. And then you have also, you have this reset button, which resets the keys that you bind to each of these, so you can bind them to different keys. And if you want to take out your Nintendo Switch, let's look at this, guys. If I were to shake my Nintendo Switch and try to drop it out, it won't because it's snugly in there. To release it. You're gonna slide this lever up. You slide the lever up and you simply draw down and it comes out and you push it back down. Make sure it's secured <laughs> and, and that's it, it's, it's solid. So we're gonna play some FIFA. We're just gonna run a few match or one match, or part of a match. But guys, this, this feels amazing. I'm telling you, this feels amazing. This is the first Nintendo Switch accessory that I've gotten and I'm telling you it's it's wonderful. It's amazing Guys, I'm telling you this controller is pretty good pretty good guys. It, it feels it feels so good It feels so good. The analogs it feels amazing. It's it's absolutely let, let's start the game So let's get some FIFA in boys And that's all because of the Nitro Deck, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm golden. So, yeah. That is the Nitro Deck for you guys. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. If you want to get one, you should. You definitely should.